हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट पैक डेरीज इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ कोडिंग एग्जांपल ऑफ पैक डेरीज विद विच वील अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटर वील फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस कोड यर आई हैव अ मॉड्यूल कॉल्ड पैक एरे एग्जाम्पल In this, I have two packed arrays. One is data memory one, another is data memory two. Both these arrays are two-dimensional array. In this, the first dimensional seven down to zero. This one is called as vector size, and this dimension three down to zero is called as number of elements or number of vectors. So, if you see both these. Pack arrays have vector size of eight bit, and the total number of elements is four. So both these array have the size of four cross eight, which is thirty two bit. I am initializing first array data mem one to a value. Later on, I am copying the value of data memory one to data memory two. This operation is copying. Now I want to see what is size of both these arrays. So using the inbuilt method dollar size, I am printing size of both the arrays. First data memory one, then data memory two. So here I have printed the array size. The next thing which we will do is to see what are the values of both the arrays. So I am printing them. After that, I want to read the elements, all four elements of both the arrays, one by one. So here I am creating a loop since both of them have four elements. So this is the loop. I is less than four, and here first I am printing each element of data memory one, then each element of data memory two. After this, what I am doing? I am assigning. Element zero of data memory two to element three of data memory one. This operation is called slice because I took a slice of data memory two. In this case, element zero, and I assigned it to a slice of data memory one. In this case, I assigned it to third element of data memory one. After that, I want to see what is the value of new array, so I'm printing it. and finally i want to compare both these arrays so if they are equal i'll print they are equal if they are not equal i'll print they are not equal let's do one thing let's run it after running we'll analyze the output so we'll analyze the display statements one by one If you see which is the first display statement which we need to analyze the size of arrays. So what should be the size of arrays? Four. If you see the size of arrays is four. Next we are printing the value of arrays. So first array you have initialized it. So whatever value you have initialized it is printing. Second array you are assigning it whatever is value of first array you are assigning it to. array 2 so it will also have same value next thing we had printed the elements of all these arrays one by one since both these arrays are equal their elements will be equal so if you see element 0 element 1 element 2 element 3 of both data 1 and data memory 2 are equal then you have done slicing so you have assign element 0 of data memory 2 to element 3 of data memory 1 it means the element 3 of data memory 1 will change if you see this is the element 3 of data memory 1 which is changed here it has got 9b value which is the value of element 0 of data memory 2 rest all values are same since you have added the Data memory one array, they are not equal anymore. That's why I am expecting both memories are not equal. With this example, we have seen 
इनिशियलाइजेशन कॉपिंग डिस्प्लेइंग एरे साइज स्लाइसिंग एंड एरे कंपेरिजन आई होप नाउ द आइडिया ऑफ पैक डेर इज वेरी क्लियर इन योर माइंड if it is still not clear please go through the video of pack dare and try this example code by yourself run it analyze the output and then again you will understand it better i hope these videos are really helping you understand system very log in easy language to keep watching such videos and stay tuned please subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel thank you